The Linux kernel is an open source software project that serves as the core of the Linux operating system. It is developed and maintained by a global community of engineers and enthusiasts who contribute to its ongoing evolution and improvement. Recently, the Linux kernel version 6.2 was released with a collection of important hardware, performance, and security improvements. One of the most notable new features in Linux 6.2 is out-of-the-box support for Intel Arc graphics. This feature enables users to take advantage of the latest graphics technologies offered by Intel without requiring any additional configuration or setup. Additionally, the release introduces support for Intel's on-demand driver and 4th Gen Xeon CPUs, which provides in-app purchases for extra CPU features. This is a significant enhancement for users who rely on CPU-intensive workloads and need access to more computing power on demand. Linux 6.2 also offers mainline support for the Apple M1 Pro, Max, and Ultra chips, thanks to the work of Asahi Linux's developers. This inclusion is a significant milestone for those looking to run Linux on Apple Silicon, as it makes the process more straightforward and streamlined. However, users who require the best possible Linux experience on Apple Silicon should continue to use Asahi Linux kernel builds. The release also includes several new drivers and hardware monitoring sensors, including support for the Sony DualShock 4 gamepads in the PlayStation HID driver, sensors and fans in the One X Player gaming handheld, and Habana Labs Gotti 2 AI Accelerator. Additionally, Asus motherboards, including the ROG Crosshair ADX team, now have a slew of hardware monitoring sensors. On the software front, Linux 6.2 includes several improvements to the NTFS3 kernel driver, including a new hide.files mount option to make files hidden when viewed on Windows, a new no-case case-insensitive mount option to enable case-insensitive folders and files, and a new Windows names mount option that prevents files and folders from being given names not allowed in Windows. Other features in Linux 6.2 include early NVIDIA RTX 30 Ampere GPU support in Nouveau, updated ZSTD compression code, miscellaneous BTRFS performance enhancements, and new mount options for Squash's file systems. Additionally, foundational work has been done to support Wi-Fi 7 and 800 gigabits per second networking, and the XFAT driver now has faster file and folder creation. The release also includes RISC-V support for persistent memory devices, stable Intel IFS driver, and modest power savings for Intel Alder Lake and Raptor Lake P. There is also support for USB for Wacom Connect Disconnect, the Chrome OS Human Presence Sensor, and Raspberry Pi 4K at 60Hz display. To obtain the Linux 6.2 update, users can download the source code and compile it themselves. Alternatively, they can use Canonical's mainline repo to install the release on Ubuntu-based distributions, although this is not recommended as the mainline builds do not undergo testing or quality checks and may not be fully issue-free. In conclusion, the Linux Kernel 6. 2 release offers a significant collection of new features and improvements, particularly in hardware enablement, performance, and security. It demonstrates the continued commitment and contribution of the global community of engineers and enthusiasts who are dedicated to advancing the open-source software project. While some features may be more relevant to certain users than others, the release as a whole offers numerous enhancements that should benefit a wide range of users. If you find this video useful please like, share and subscribe.